Hey guys, this is uh, Dave from Systematic Investors Group. I uh, just wanted to follow up on a video that I did uh, a few weeks ago where I talked about, um, you know, paper trading and paper testing your, your systematic strategies and before you go live. So I was, I was paper testing a couple of strategies which um, incidentally are the same strategies that we offer for free on our website at systematic-investors.com. So just wanted to give you a little bit of follow-up logic. I've been kind of waiting for this pullback. Um, now I'll, I'll kind of go through the logic of why I'm ready to, to finally go live with these systems. Um, it's a little bit risky because we've had such a big run-up in this market. Like if you look at uh, from this high to this low. I'll just I'll just cover a little bit of technical analysis, although you know my systematic investing is is all rules based, but I do also look at technical analysis for big picture stuff. So if you look at this, we've had you know we had this um, uh, this move down. The extension of this move using Fibonacci's, um, we came all the way up to a 261.8 extension, which is pretty like we're pretty extended here, and you know you don't even need to know that to know. You know that this has been a pretty big move up so if but if you look at it so we we had a pullback yesterday um now i'm looking at the s p futures here because they just chart cleaner you can see here we're actually holding um, this trend line we've tested it i guess this would be the third time so we're starting you know to to get long in that uh in that uh intermediate trend but you can see here like we're on the 60 minute chart you can see the uh the trend line underneath um you can see here we gap down on on sunday night um and then you know monday was all this action here this is the 60 minute chart um, but basically what we're looking at here is you know we could have a situation here where we just kind of um uh, bounce a little bit or just consolidate and then we puke down I mean that is possible um, and for that reason I'm just going to start up my systems using smaller size to get started but ideally what you want to see happen is we hold this area and then we you know we push higher now do we have a lot of upside to go you know nobody knows um, if you look at the um, the spy chart so this is the the S&P futures which I think is just you know it just charts cleaner um, let's see if we can just look at the if we can just look at the um, the spy for some reason my screen is locked okay we won't bother looking at the spy but you can see where things have you know kind of um, they've gapped down and then they've moved higher here but because the S&P futures has the overnight action it just is much cleaner so the reason one of the other uh, data points that I'm looking at is I was expecting some sort of a pullback this chart on the very right is um, it's a seasonal average chart so this uses a 20-year uh, seasonal average of what's happened in the S&P futures and the red line is the historical and the cyan line is what's been happening today uh, like what's what's happening currently so you can see here like the beginning of the end of january beginning of february on average and this doesn't always play out you know exactly like this but on average you see a little bit of a down move and then you see a move higher uh, into you know the middle of april end of april and then you get that old adage sell in may and go away because you usually get like a lot of volatility and sideways action but you can see here according to the um, the historical kind of average trend um, you know, if things follow that trend, which they usually do, you know, 70 to 80 percent of the time um, on average, like I'm just ballparking it. But you can see here that you get um, you get like a, a trending action um, from the end of February uh, into the, you know, the end of uh, the end of April. So we, we have potentially another two months of uh, of trending action before things kind of get a little bit uglier now there's a lot of things going on in the world anything can happen this is these are just kind of the data points I'm looking at so let me just summarize so I'm looking at you know uh, we've got a, an established uptrend we've got a pullback I don't like how it gapped overnight on Sunday um, but you know that's it's it's not ideal but it's 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 what it is um, we're holding a trend line for now. So the risk is we could push lower, uh, in which case I'm just going to go in with my systems with a little smaller size to get started. Uh, we had an RSI2 pullback and the seasonal average looks uh, potentially favorable. So let's kind of um, move over to, um, that's kind of the logic behind why I'm 
interested in getting my systems finally started and let's move over and take a look at what that actually looks like okay so now I'm on my trading platform here um, today is January the 28th to 2020 January the 28th 2020 so you can see here I've got my um, my infrastructure my uh, automatic trading that's the bell in the background uh, the market's just opening now actually recorded this video earlier but it didn't record the sound so you know I wanted to show you um, what was happening here um, but I've got my before the market opened so I've got my my uh, infrastructure so I've got my um, my data source Norgate data updater and uh, this is set to update automatically every day um, it does it through the settings of the software so it updates at 6 a.m. and then I also have something in my a Lara portfolio manager so this is a Lara portfolio manager this is kind of the hub that runs all the strategies and manages uh, all of the uh, all of the communication between you know my data provider and the brokerage and everything else this is what kind of makes the magic happen so this has a dummy strategy set up you can see a little bit more of that in the last video that I did when I was talking about just about to go live from trading um, from paper trading so what you can see here is you know this is set up at 715 to run it again just in case it didn't run at 6 a.m. you know so there's a little bit of dual redundancy there so what I've done is I've um, I've got two strategies running and so this is uh, this is the RSI 2 strategy and this is a supercharged uh, momentum strategy and uh, incidentally uh, incidentally these are the same strategies that are running um, on systematic investors group so these are two free strategies that we offer they are obviously they are pro level strategies because I'm willing to trade them with my own money so if you have a look here if you come over to uh, systematic-investors.com uh, you can see um, some of the back test stats for each one and we publish the actual signals for these strategies every day and eventually um, eventually the idea is uh, I'm running these signals locally on my own computer, but you'll be able to set this up so that you can pull the, the signals directly from our website every day. So this will just manage the whole process, um, either you know semi-automatically or, or fully automatically. Now I feel fairly confident in these strategies, so I've got you know both the switches on. There, it's in full autopilot. Um, but if I didn't have this scheduler uh, enabled here, then what I could do is I could actually review the orders. Um, using the order preview now there won't be anything left in the order preview because the market is open and it's actually sent it sent all of my um, limit orders to market for this particular strategy so essentially um, you know we could preview the orders and decide what we want to trade what we don't want to trade or if we even want to trade at all so um, so I've got an RSI 2 strategy working here so what I've done is I have just started out with a little smaller size um, the numbers the numbers are showing so I'll just I'll just show you like I've got about 100k in the account uh, in this uh, in this specific account and I've got about 10% allocated to this strategy um, the goal is to to run about 12 uh, 10 positions but I've set it a little bit higher just because it's a limit order strategy and you don't get filled on every order and you have no you have no guaranteed idea whether you're going to get filled or not so what this is doing it's it's got a target of about 10 uh, 10 um, positions and we're running about 10% of that. So of the 10% of the total account for the strategy allocation, our, our lot size is about 10% each, which is about $1,000 per, per position. So, you know, just a, a small um, a small dipping the toe in the market for this strategy. Uh, it's going to run a portfolio of 10, um, uh, up to 10, 10 or 12 actual positions. So you can see here the, the log it ran today. The log will tell you what it actually did and the portfolio you'll see when things actually get bought uh, you'll see things come through here so it's actually bidding on this nothing's actually gotten um, uh, executed yet so for this strategy now the supercharged momentum trend which is the other strategy that you can get for free on our site um, is um, running about twenty thousand dollars so it's about twenty thousand twenty percent of the total equity both of these strategies are running in the same account so Alera portfolio manager is is managing interference between these two strategies like it won't let stocks 
overlap each other it will it'll manage each portfolio for each strategy independently and then the goal is i'm going to add a couple of more strategies here um, because every strategy no matter you know what anybody tells you in the market whether you're running a discretionary strategy from some so-called guru out there or running a you know a, a verified quantified strategy like we're doing here where we've done our research and development we've done our back testing we've done our homework we forward tested it um, every strategy has the potential to go through drawdown at some point in time so what we do is we try to limit those by uh, using different characteristics of the market using different systems and diversifying between different strategies right so we might have right now we have two strategies running um, they take advantage of different aspects of the market one is a momentum strategy one is a mean reversion strategy um, we'll add other strategies and that hopefully will balance out our overall equity curve right because maybe when one is is struggling a little bit the other one will be picking up the slack so that's one of the ways that you can kind of diversify and you can um, you can um, um, smooth out uh, your risk and your and your equity your overall equity curve okay so a little bit off track there so we've got a layer portfolio manager running um, so 20% to this strategy it's going to do about a thousand dollars per stock or five percent of that um, so if you've got 20% five percent of that 20% is going to be a thousand dollars per stock uh, it's going to manage about 20 positions here um, here we're running US dollars so Lair portfolio manager recently had an update uh, where it can run different markets I think it has the Australian market now um, through interactive brokers and the Indian market so if you're in India you can um, you can run a Lair portfolio manager for these strategies now these are end of day strategies these are not like um, day trading strategies so all of the signals are generated at the end of the day um, and for execution uh, you know the next morning or at the close I prefer these strategies because I believe that uh, the day trading space is owned by uh, you know the the big infrastructure um, hedge funds you know the ones that have a lot of money a lot of technology that space is very competitive and it's very very hard for an individual retail um, do-it-yourself slash systematic investor to compete in that space but I think this space is going to work for us for a long time uh, if not forever so so that's essentially what's going on here I've got two strategies running here let's take a look at the portfolio so for the supercharged momentum trend um, these orders you can see it's already showing P&L for the orders um, because these orders were actually executed because they're market they were market on open orders so these orders take advantage of the open um, the open auction in the morning uh, it just uses market on open orders because we just want to get in when the condition is right as opposed to uh, this strategy which uses a limit order um, and you can see here two of the orders were filled now uh, you can see um, because you can see the quantity and the P&L come through and these ones are still bidding so it's doing all this in the background I don't have to do anything it'll manage all this for me uh, and I can just monitor it if I needed to now I could close out some of these positions if I didn't like it um, or I could log into TWS and I could manage um, the actual stocks in there as well so um, that, I think that covers most of the stuff so if you're not familiar so just so you understand the stack uh, we also have um, IB gateway running this is what allows a Lara portfolio manager to main con maintain contact with the broker and it just programmatically interacts with my brokerage account uh, and it sends everything uh, all the communication takes place through IB gateway so you, you have you know here's my data source um, a layer portfolio manager communicates with the data source it also communicates with my program that um, generates my buy and sell signals uh, in my case I use AMI broker but eventually I'm going to be pulling all the the signals directly from um, from our um, from our website which I showed you earlier um, the signals are being posted there right now and then it all communicates through IB gateway so I've got these three lightweight programs running on my computer and then I've got my AMI broker running in the background and it just gets called whenever it needs to generate signals so if you're interested in doing some you know systematic trading and investing uh, if you have any questions um, if you want to implement your own systems if you want it done for you 
implementation strategy, you know, reach out to us at systematic-investors.com. Um, you can reach out to me directly uh, at info at systematic-investors.com. Uh, again, my name is Dave. I'll be able to uh, field any questions that you have. If there's anything I can't answer, we've got a great team of people in a growing community of people that are, um, you know, working towards the same goal. So just remember, um, don't believe all the, the bull crap out there. Don't believe all the gurus out there. You know, you, you in my opinion, you need um, quantified, researched, back-tested, um, verified strategies that are going, going to give you the confidence and going to give you a strategic edge in the marketplace. And uh, just remember, you're just one systematic strategy away.